Two yachts set sail today with about 30 crew members on board. They've been warned that if they enter West Papua waters, they'll be intercepted by Indonesian naval vessels. But the activists say they're highlighting the abuses that West Papuans endure under Indonesian rule. It's something that you cannot turn a blind eye to when you hear some of the horrific things that are happening. All we want to do is make awareness. If everybody on the planet is aware of what is happening, we will be happy. Indonesian authorities say anyone on board could be arrested and detained if the boats arrive without authorisation. Foreign Minister Marty Natalagawa says that after discussions with Australia and Papua New Guinea, all three countries are in agreement. He says Indonesia, Australia and PNG are all on the same page in not wanting a stunt to interrupt or disrupt their relations. Australia recognises West Papua as part of Indonesia, but not all politicians do. Liberal MP Warren Ench was there to support the flotilla. I'm hoping at, one st at some stage that common sense will prevail and we'll be able to see West Papua regain its identity, its true identity. One of West Papua's political leaders who lives in Australia in self-imposed exile says Australia needs to take a leadership role in helping bring about self-determination. We hope Australia government can become third party to bring Indonesia and West Papua to sit together to talk about our future. The flotilla is expected to reach West Papua in 13 days. Sam Iken, World News Australia.